The EHU Special Economic Zone project valued at 8 billion kina is still in the early stages of development. Member for Kikori and Minister for Foreign Affairs and International Trade, Soro Yoe, emphasized the invaluable long-term benefits that would come through the development and establishment of the ISAS project. Minister Yoe said in December last year, two three-ton vehicles worth 344,000 kina were purchased to provide service along the road from Ihu to Kerema in the Gulf province. The minister said in the coming weeks the vehicles will be transported to Kerma to start serving the people of Gulf, and this will signal the commencement of the development of the ISAS project. Those two PMEs are now ready to be transported down. So I'm kind of looking at uh, next week to transport them down to Ihu and then uh, officially launch them there. And that will also signal that the EU Special Economic Drive project is now coming to coming into uh, existence. He stressed that the government is continuously looking at other avenues for revenue generation in order to develop the country's economy without always having to borrow. Thus is keen on pursuing the development of the special economic zone in Ihu. Meantime, the Kikori Open MP stated that the airport project in the Ihu rural local level government has not yet commenced service. The project was launched in 2020 with Prime Minister Marape officially opening the airstrip after 17 years. The funds that were given, uh, yeah, funds that were given last year were kind of hijacked and taken to the provincial government. And we had lots of difficulty in getting that money back until only four weeks ago we secured the money back. So we had not gone back to get the second phase. Second phase really means that we need to do social impacts, land mobilization, land owner identification, uh, environmental impacts, status. all those things are required by law where new projects are taking place. So that one we'll do this year. Minister Yoe explained that the project's slow start was due to funds being allegedly hijacked by the Gulf Provincial Government. He said there was difficulty in retrieving the 100 million kina allocated by the government for this project, but was done so successfully four weeks ago.